Hey there viewers and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this, I think it's a 2000 Nissan Xterra. It's got the big 3.3 V6 in it. A little bit different than your normal drive belt change. So this one has what I call a jack screw. So a slightly different procedure than normal, but um, you will manually tension these drive belts. So I'll just keep that in mind and let's get started. So first things first, you know you have that jack screw style system when you see this type of a setup on your accessories. This one will have two drive belts, uh, one for the alternator and then one that looks like for uh, power steering and air conditioning and all that other goodness. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and get some tools. Looks like it should be fairly simple. So step one on this process is actually gonna to be to loosen up the center bolt that's holding the idler or uh, the bolt that's holding one end of the accessory because how it works is it moves, you know, let's say an alternator or what have you. One bolt is stationary and then it's got an assembly that's gonna move the other half of that component. So if you just start twirling the jack screw, you're gonna be like a couple of kids did last, not last year, but about two years ago. I had to go to Nissan and spend like a hundred and some bucks for a new tensioner assembly because it's just gonna turn into a great big pretzel. Dun, 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 dun. You don't have to loosen it up a ton. Then, what I'll do. We're gonna go over here. You can see right where I put this socket is the jack screw. Okay, so as you're turning that, you can see that idler is moving down and it's taking tension off the belt. So you need to turn it far enough that uh, you can simply slip the belt off and then. Uh, around the fan. I think it might actually come out easier through the bottom, maybe here perhaps, but either way, since it drives the water pump on the correct side on this belt. No, it drives on the back. No, never mind. This doesn't drive the water pump at all. It's the other belt. Uh, we got to get it all looped around the cooling fan. Uh, belt routing diagram on this one, pretty bonehead simple for this vehicle, so. I really didn't bother to look one up. If I need one, I know I have access to it. There's belt number two. If I could get a hold on it. It's in the worst spot to try to film. Of course, pretty much everything on this joke's in the worst spot. Oops. Sorry about that, folks. So this belt runs the power steering and it looks like the water pump. And all these look like they gotta go around the fan, which is nice that this fan isn't totally sharp. Some of these fans are pretty stinking sharp. I don't know if the sand sharpens them or what the deal is. So um, you, you will notice a theme. I put all these gates, belts on, not a sponsor, uh, with their logo facing forward. It's just a thing that I do in case I forget to label them. You wanna put the dry belt on so it's rotating in the original direction that it was uh, when it was new. Okay, so the alternator's belt, and you can see it's a little bit loose, uh, has a fastener here and then you can kind of barely see one up there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen up this bottom one just because you can actually see it kind of easy. This is not the fastener for the jack screw. That is actually on this side. So let's grab this top one while we're at it. You don't need to loosen it too terribly much. 
we should simply be able to rotate this guy. Pull it down. Oh, you gotta go more. And there we are. At this point, folks, your job is to show me the three belts, the alternator, and then that uh, power steering belt, and then that first one here that we took off. So of course, they're all three different sizes, so virtually impossible to get mixed up if one breaks or you're confused on exactly what they do. So our next step is to reinstall them correctly. I'm only gonna show you the tensioning process really for this bottom one, kind of, because it's really, really hard to film. So if I can get a good angle at it, I'll show that to you. But you do need to tension manually all three. Really hard to get a belt tension gauge in there. So I usually just tension them by feel. Um, when they're new, they're gonna stretch a little bit. When they're old, I typically don't tighten them down quite so much. But um, let's make that happen. And it slide her up against the balancer. This alternator is actually really easy. Hopefully I don't speak too soon. There is a little tang for the timing on the top of this balancer, so you gotta be a little bit careful on that. There you are. Some jack screw action. Oops, wrong screw there, fella. And go over to this one. Got it where we want it. So now we'll tighten up the top of the alternator. And then we'll sneak down here and tighten this little guy up, which usually tightens the belt a little bit more. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of hopefully how tight that is. It doesn't deflect a whole lot. This is also a pretty short belt. So depending on its length, uh, kind of affects the way that this feels. I like the way that this feels uh, for the alternator. Second belt has to go around the fan first. So we'll kind of tuck it in there. Get it the all reach. Classically, of course. I'm sure you don't noodle up the belt because uh, that will make it kind of difficult to straighten out here in a little bit. Okay, perfect. Simply make sure it's facing the right way. We'll get it around the power steering. Make sure it's in all the grooves. Lovely. We'll just simply reach down here and kind of do the same check that we did before. It's actually feeling really good. Think about that tight. We don't want to over tighten it. Okay, we'll check that one more time. Lovely. Now for our last belt. Ooh, this fan's got a crack in it. Not done by me. It's actually not right where the blade is. It's right where a seam is. So yeah, it should definitely be replaced. That's not happening here. Just something to look out for. For all we know that happened when folks changed the belt the last time on this. We don't know. 
have air conditioning. So that belt only runs the AC compressor, that's cute. We'll rotate this back where it needs to be. I am giving everything a visual inspection while I'm doing this, so uh, I don't have to go back and fix it later. You gotta pardon the sockets a little fat to fit in this uh, bracket here, unfortunately. Okay, I like that. Like. You got it folks that is how to change three drive belts on your nissan with the 3.3 uh job pays about 0.7 hours if i recall so where you probably end up billing for an hour um dealership rates around here probably 130 plus parts so doing this job yourself i know i did it in way less than 0.7 of an hour i mean you watched me do it live right <laughs> so anyway um not the most difficult job, something you could do in your own driveway. The one on the bottom, yeah, you might be landing the dirt in the mud a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.